All right, I'm Matt Pomeroy. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at phyzed, P-H-Y-S-E-D underscore Pomeroy. I'm here today to walk you through uh, the what's called the new version of Autocrat, um, and it is an add-on um, that can be found. And there's a blog post accompanying, accompanying this at phyzedagogy.com, www.phy. S E D A G O G Y dot com. And I'm talking about Google Forms plus Autocrat and how it equals just an educational gold. Um, and I'm just going to take you through one of them here. Um, I am a health and physical educator. I teach at Merton Intermediate School. Um, I just love Autocrat. It, it basically automates a ton of different things. And it can help you create a, a bunch of different stuff. I see a lot of students, um, and it can help you make this stuff quickly. So I'm going to take you through it. Um, I Fitness test, it's not my favorite thing to do, uh, but I needed a way to send some information home without paying the fitness gram fees all the time. Um, and I wanted it to be shared with the parents. Um, and I want to walk you through this because it's a pretty amazing process. So, all right, with Autocrat, you're going to have to have a couple of documents. Um, I ended up making what I call a shell document, a dummy document, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's the document that's up on my screen right now. You're also going to create a Google form and some of the things that you have on the document will be in your Google form where people are going to have to fill in their results and then everything is going to come back to you on a Google Sheet. Um, and we'll just kind of walk you through the process right now. So first off is making your document. Again, you're going to need to create the document however you want it to look like. All right, so this is what I wanted my document to look like. Very simple. It's got, it's got their best scores. Uh, it tells them if they're presidential national uh, or within the healthy fitness zone. What did I do that I'm successful at and what could I do to improve? Uh, so on and so forth. And then it's got, it explains what the different zones are. And then it also talks about the fit principle. And I wanted my students to set a goal um, to try to work on that goal to, to improve for whether you give this to them in the fall, so they're improving for the spring testing, or if you give it to them in the, once they finish their spring testing, you know, so they're prepared for the summer and the, the upcoming year. So that's the document. That's kind of what I want the, the final document to look like, except with all the student input in there. So I created a form, and again, each one of these columns, there's going to be answers on this form. All right, so you're going to have to create your form. Um, I use like check boxes, multiple choice. Some things need text boxes to be added in. Um, and then there's a portion down here where it was talking about what I'm going to improve on. And again, I had to use the multiple choice. And here I've got to use like a text. And I believe you could use paragraph text um, or just a regular text box. Uh, but I found the regular ones worked with the old version of Autocrat. And I think they both work for the new version. Um, so there's my Google form. And it has everything on it that I want to pull into this document. And everything it's going to pull in, you can see, are these merge tags. And those come right off of this Google form. All right. So what I would do is I would send this reflection form to my students, uh, whether I put it in Google Classroom, whether I send the link to them right here as an email, uh, either either thing would work out. And again, the, the student would just begin in typing in their, their name and their email address. Now notice I put parents' email address, and that's kind of one of the cool things that um, when they fill out the form and they put in their parents' email address, it actually sends this new document to their parents also. All right, um, again, now they're just going to start plugging in. This is the stuff that they, they have off their fitness sheet. Again, I am extremely fast. That's a presidential score and so on and so forth. And they really just continue checking the things off that they're successful at or the things that they could do that they might like to do that they've forgotten that would help them improve. All right, and they just kind of continue on with that. And again, at the bottom, um, as I kind of showed you before, what are these things I'm going to improve on? Notice we're using the FIT principle and we're writing these SMART goals. Um, so we're just going to explain what we're going to do. All right. Um, so that's the form. Again, when they hit submit on the form, all the way down here, it's going to send some results uh, right back here into this Google Doc. I'm sorry, into this Google Sheet. All right. In this Google Sheet, 
Now I'm going to launch Autocrat. And again, you would want to be working on this with me if you really want to piece this together, if you are piecing it together for the first time. Uh, you might, you're going to have to create a new merge job and you'll kind of do all the same things that I'm doing. This one is already made and I'm just trying to save us a little bit of time. So I'm just going to edit it. And what you'll end up seeing is you're going to have to find the first thing that it would ask you to do is find what document that you want to use as that shell document. And again, I've already done that, so you're not going to see it. All right. But it's technically like this screen is where you're going to start and you're going to just choose a template from Drive. All right. And then that's the one that I've already created. Uh, the one that you could download off of Fazetagogi's website, off of my blog. Um, just to put right in and again you're just pulling this stuff from form responses you're just going to make sure like all these kind of tags equal each other and they're the right things um, so again this is what's on the form this is the tag from this document again there's the tag there's the form the stuff i'm pulling from again i've got these all set up now if it wasn't set up correctly you can just go through and click the proper things and then you're just going to hit save so again, you get to name the file, and these were all the things that got pulled in off the Google form. And so again, if I wanted to save this document as their first name, then last name, all right, I just add that in there, and then it'll always name them all Fall Fitness Reflections or whatever it is, all right? I'm creating a Google Doc, and I'm actually creating a Google Doc where, it, as you can see down here, it can be edited. All right. And again, the people that I'm emailing are the people that are also now allowed to edit that. All right. Um, so again, I've got this sent to your email address and I also need to add your parents email address. All right. And this is just so I clicked on the, the email. This is just basically an email that's automatically going to be sent out the instant someone hits submit on a form. So it's going to add in their email, the parent's email. This is going to be the, the subject of the line. This is what it's going to say. I also want you to reflect, all right? And I also ask them to look over this document and edit anything that needs to be edited. So basically, I want my 7th and 8th graders to go home, sit down with their parents, and talk about what they're going to do over the summer to stay fit, all right? So it's an it's an editable Google Doc. Um, everything is set up on this page. And again, I'm just going to save and I'm just going to move forward. All right, so the cool thing is that automatically happens right after that. All right, basically, I can just click Run Merge. And what happens is every time the form gets submitted, so a new thing pops up, it's just going to make a new doc new document. Now, when I hit Run Merge, nothing's going to happen because I didn't type anything in my... Um, in my Google form or anything like that. But if you did it, it would now run it automatically. All right, basically what happens is, and I've edited this a little bit, but again, this is a student that I had. They plugged in all their times. This is why they were successful. This is what they could do to be a little more successful. Again, set up so it tells them all their scores. It's got all that stuff filled in. Um, it, and then here are their goals. And I only wanted to have two tests. Um, so then they've got everything there. Again, this isn't exactly the same document that their parents would see. Um, this is looking at it from my end, um, so I can't necessarily edit. But the parents could sit down and be like, wait a second, uh, you're going to do push-ups. Let's make sure we get an app for that. Or, um, all right, so you're going to stretch twice a day. So you're going to stretch in the morning, in the evening. All right, perfect. So we'll help you out on that. And what I wanted to do is just make this work together. All right. So this is how I use Autocrat for fitness testing. Check out the blog at physetagogy.com, um, Google Forms plus Autocrat, and that'll teach you how to do a ton of different things. Um, and I can just show you right here a ton of different things that health, physical educators, and really anyone in education can use um, to automate a lot of the things that they do. Um, and it's a pretty smooth little process. So I well, thank you again for watching. Again, I'm uh, Matt Pomeroy. And let me know if you have any questions. Um, you can uh, type in the comments on the blog. Let me know what else you use Autocrat for. Um, or again, let me know right here on this video. So, all right. Thanks for walk watching. And uh, have fun using Google Forms and Autocrat.